You want to think a man's good looking and then I look at him and then he doesn't approach me. Like, did you not see me just look right at you? Like, that was your sign. Like, that was me shooting my shot. Like, I looked right at you. Like, I looked away pretty quickly. Like, it was kind of one of these, Ooh, you know? But like, that was your sign. The audacity and entitlement of these modern women. For starters, look at her eyes. She looks like she needs to be on medication. Imagine you waking up to her every day. She looks psychotic. Uh, next, these chicks, they think just because they look at you real quick, for a quick split second that you should approach them. They just think that you should just come up to them. You should get the hints. You should be a mind reader and everything. Guys, don't do it. It's a waste of time. A, a woman will look at you, and I had had with me before, and then she turned her head, and you approach her, and they're like, oh, I got a boyfriend. So a lot of these chicks, they just want the validation and attention of you shooting your shot. I am 41 years old, single, without kids, living in a van, outside my mom's house. So a couple of weeks ago, a guy approached me. Of course I did what all girls do. Assumed he was a sexually charged pig. Screams, I have a boyfriend. Before he could even get a word out. Rolled my eyes, threatened to call the cops. And immediately relocated to a different spot in the coffee shop. Just so I could post a TikTok about it. Why does a man stare at you but never approach you? You need to be approaching men because they will not approach you. It's up to us to decide which men we want to date. And one more fucking thing. I hate when people make it seem like I'm fucking crazy for asking for the bare fucking minimum. I'm not asking for a million fucking dollars. I'm not asking you to fucking plaster me on fucking billboards. All I asked was for a call or a text. Fucking communication. That's all I fucking asked for. I like guys who just aren't, who right. don't want to date me, really. Totally. I feel like I was the same way. Like, I always went after dudes who, like, just were unavailable. And, like, sometimes I'd win them over. And I'm like, ooh, this is what I need. I, I have, like, I challenge. have a 0% success rate. <laughs> like, I'm not No, kidding. but you don't need to win them over. Is I, well, I know. That's the thing. And I don't want to play the games either. But then it's like, by the time I figure it out, I'm already, like, obsessed with him. Right. I told you guys, women like mystery. They want guys who don't want them. This is why most of them are single, because they're always chasing after a guy who's not giving them attention, validation, or who doesn't want to commit to them. So many chicks are like this. This is why if you do a lot for a woman, you court her, you treat her really well, you call and text her, you tell her how you feel, all this stuff like that. She always rejects you, right? But the women that you don't communicate with, you don't text her barely. She reaches out to you. You just text her, hey, let's hang out and smash and hook up. They always want you right? Women are psychotic. Remember, women want what they can't have. Already like obsessed with him. Right. I've learned that my type is boys that don't want me. And it's fucking aggravating. Like, why the fuck is that my type? So am I like the only woman that no longer gets approached by men? I'm looking for a man to help me put together some furniture because I was not designed to do this. I'm a hot girl, not a builder. Well, I have had experiences similar to this where especially it's strange when you're in a group of girls who are skinny and a man will come up and introduce himself to all of my friends and literally say nothing to me and act like i wasn't there rejected that is so fucking weird do not do that I'm sitting out here struggling to get this in my car men are walking back and forth no one is trying to help me. They don't make real men anymore. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not all men, because there are good men out there. As a woman, like, you don't see men holding doors anymore. They don't help anymore. They rush and sit down on trains and buses before women and pregnant women and elderly are sitting down. It's just a hot mess out here. For starters, whenever a woman starts off a real man, what she's basically going to say is a real man is supposed to do this for me. You have to shoulder the load. You have to pay her way. You have to take the stress off of her life, all right? And next... Where's your brother? Do you have an uncle? Where's your father at? Why do you need random men to come help you? See, this is what I'm saying. These women, they want your free labor from random men. No, men don't have to just come help you move anything. Interesting. Let's say he did. What benefit does he get from it? Why is it that every single guy I've given my number to, except for one, maybe two, since I started dating at the beginning of the summer, from me going up to them, I swear to God, I just went to Chipotle after the gym, immediately make eye contact with this guy. He was very good looking. I could tell that he was interested in me and I could tell he was looking at me for a long time. When I walked in, he was checking out. So he should have been leaving. I go in line. He circled the block and went to use the bathroom and I could see him in the reflection of the Chipotle like thing. I could see him looking at me from behind. I also was wearing gym shorts. So he might've just been looking at my eyes. Anyway, he goes in the bathroom and then he sits 
and waits for me to finish ordering checking out just come up and fucking say something bro like what are you guys worried about rejection i divorced my high school sweetheart after five years of marriage and four babies and i recently started dating what yo i don't see the point of approaching women or bagging women there's no point unless you know the only way you get her is if you already know she's into you so what if you're out somewhere and you find an attractive woman? You're not going to go up to her? There's no point. Why? Because they choose. There's absolutely no point of, <sighs> what do you mean how? But how do you know you're not chosen if you don't go up to her? You don't have to go up to her. Yo, you, yo, when a woman wants what she wants, she shows you that she wants it. I agree 100%. Like, if a woman really wants you, she's not going to play these mind games. She's going to come around you. She's not, she's going to give you more than one second of eye contact. She's going to stare at you for a good five to 10 seconds. She's going to let you know. Uh, so guys, understand that. And here's the thing. It's easier when a woman shoots her shot or when she gives you that long choosing signal. I'm not talking about just glancing at you real quick, like the previous chick said in the clip. And, and that's it. No, when a woman likes you, when she really wants you, she will let you know. Not L all women Lie. Y'all looking at the camera. Lie. Lie and say y'all don't. These women throw, listen, there's dudes that don't got to do nothing but breathe. Hey, I think you're so handsome. I think you're this. Women will come up to them. Guys will be like, I'm sorry. I just have a lot on my plate right now. And it'll literally just be like their job and like, I don't know, a pickup hockey league they play in once a week. Yeah, that's fair. No, totally. Don't text me back. It's fine. Last night I went out with a couple friends and we were sitting outside watching a concert and we were just talking about how men never approach women. And I get it, it's nerve-wracking, it's uncomfortable, it could be like severe rejection, all these things, but it's frustrating when it feels like women have to do all of the work. See, now they know how men feel. What about us men doing all the work for years, decades? We gotta shoot our shot, we gotta approach the one, we gotta get the number, we gotta set the date up, we gotta you know, open a car door. We got to pay for the day. We got to say all the right things. We got to make her laugh. All these different things. And women just have to sit. Now they know how it feels to be a man of what we go through. Men are not approaching. Do we need men? No. Do we need men? Honestly, no. <laughs> Do we need men? No. Why? Because they suck. <laughs> study on date psychology recently revealed that 48% of men 26 to 40 years old have not approached women in the past year, and 60% of men aged 18 to 25 said they haven't. In the entire data set, 30% of men said they never approached a woman in person before ever. They actually went into the reasoning behind these men not going and speaking to women. And I believe the list was scared of rejection, scared of like an HR response or being reported or me too in some way, shape or form, not being successful and just not feeling the need to walk up to women anymore was also one of the uh, many answers that men gave on the list of reasons why they no longer approach women. So it's, it's interesting out there.